Gemini's, welcome. It's your October heart spread. The leaves in the ethereal visions illuminated tarot. This reads uh, who's on your mind, who's in your heart. Uh, eight card spread. Kind of look at uh, you and your person, like the first house, seventh house in astrology. Astrologer too, so kind of always think of that. And uh, first card is you, second card is whoever's in your heart. And that's uh, usually going to be our anima, animus projection. You know, what it is we're looking for love, obviously. Um, and uh, we get some advice and get a look at how you're interacting and advice from spirit. And then uh, advice on the relationship and the outcome of the relationship. And if there is to be one. Uh, let's see. Typically, it's about a love interest, but, you know, use this. Number two position uh, can describe a... Uh, angel, you know, that kind of thing. And we'll pick up on who's in your heart. So hopefully that's the one you're next to, but it may not be. <laughs> I think so. Uh, you might point as you, they may not be physically with you, but if that's who's in your heart, that's where this is going to go. Well, one more time. Let's see, this is for October. Wow, I'm in Mexico, Juan del Carmen. Kinda is it winter, as far as I'm concerned, but I remember, this is like the best time of the year in Virginia. We go on a skyline drive and see the leaves, that was the thing, never missed that. Okay, bottom on the bottom of the deck, I do kinda consider that now, I didn't used to. I've done under 650 readings. But, uh, yeah, you know, wounded warrior, this is, uh, you know, you don't have to be that old to be wounded from several relationships because it's a relationship breeding. So, yeah, a little bit of that. That could be general energy on everybody. But let's look at where you're at. Two of swords, that's a tough place to be. This is kind of where your mind and heart is at and around relationships here, Gemini. And... Um, I always think of this as the energy of uh, in your mind or out loud you're saying I just don't know what to do I just don't know what to do um, and I try to detach that from relationship um, energy to kind of get a, a, a baseline of kind of where you're at separate from this person you're thinking of let me look at them here this is kind of tough wow um, there's some similarities here with justice and the two of swords you know, uh, God, I feel suddenly tired. I'm not typically a juggling card, but feel that energy. But look, justice with them coming in, where your person is, in the round relationships, Gemini, um, that's indicating to me probably, I mean, it could be just Libra energy. Okay, so if they're really strong Libra, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me if, if if they're not in a relationship or in a marriage, um, if, if they're in the middle of a divorce or the divorce was just over or even if the divorce was over, they're really strongly holding that energy still. Uh, coming into your relationship, holding on to an energy or literal fact of marriage. Uh -huh. And um, this has thrown you into this two of swords. Obviously, you're thinking of them, you know, um, this is never, I have, uh, by now, dating, because <laughs> you could say, you know, divorce uh, but it's never uh, been my thing, um, but then it, it implies, too, and I don't know for sure that this is the case, you, you obviously would know, I'm saying it, so you know if it resonates, and if it doesn't, I get it, um, check out the Soul Family Read uh, for the day, the 28th collective read for whoever resonates um uh it was a really good reading today i thought kind of read myself into that and uh, it's an important one for me to keep it short but back to your love reading um it could be too that this was started you know um while they were in some kind of relationship it would imply to me it's not going well but let's go and the wounded warriors you know uh, maybe they're wounded. They've been in a bad relationship. Hello, uh, for many, many years with a wonderful woman. Just bad dynamics, and um, it, a kind of self-abnegation thing going on. 
And so uh, maybe for you, what's going on here is I'm guessing like a pattern of this kind of thing, where I mean, if they're not married, they're, they're unavailable, like they're across the ocean or they're, um, you know, in another city and really busy all the time um, or something. It's like in some way, uh, the relationship is kind of not truly consummated, you know, physically, emotionally. Um, and you're feeling this now, and this energy here, and kind of sitting to and crossing the hearts. These are thoughts, but you're crossing the heart because you want to protect yourself because you're like, you know, this has happened before. It almost feels to me like you kind of know what you're doing. It's like almost like deliberately, you're like, I know I'm going to wait. I'm not going to be upset. I'm just going to sit here and kind of meditate and wait. And, you know, but it's like all around you, it's it's not the energy you want. You don't want, you want the energy of like the Ten of Cups. You want the energy of the King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups. That's what you want, but it's not what you're getting. How are you reacting to that? Holy shit. Well, this will explain it. You know, this is a very odd. I, I see someone here. You are like deliberately doing something with the way, way you're thinking, like kind of deliberately not thinking of something. Um, and I, this is not just intuitive read, not your typical two of swords, how you, but this is where you're at in terms of relationships. So uh, it's like you're kind of good with it. Like, but you know, like you, you don't want to be like this, like forever. Uh, in the Two of Swords, no. But you understand that this is the best way for you to be. Like, you could be in a Six, Seven of Cups energy, or Seven of Swords energy. I mean, you could be speed, uh, Eight of Swords, you know, uh, Nine of Swords energy. So, um, any of that, but you're, you're, this, like, Two of Swords, like, you're putting yourself into it. It's a little bit like I saw in a movie one time, somebody induced a coma in themselves for some reason. Just because they couldn't deal with things or something, they had like a billionaire or something. The doctors find like they found some doctor somewhere. <laughs> it's like a little bit like that, man. But you know why? Because you feel like you're gonna get the world from this person, or you feel like literally you're thinking to yourself, you know, this person is the world. You know? And you're just sort of holding space for them, and it's not easy. This is holding space, but this is not cuddly holding space, uh, you know, in a new age way with soft music and candles. This is like being alone, being uncertain, um, being unfulfilled, but yet you feel like the world, there's like you just, you got to do this. I get it. I feel you. Okay, I like it so far. They're coming in with the Queen of Pentacles. So the way they're feeling about you is very stable and very strong. And I see no reason to think they might be a Libra personality. I see no reason to think they're not stable and strong anyway. Um, but really the good thing here is when you think the world is somebody in this reading I, I don't i'm not thinking neptunian blushes of romance phase illusions you know in fact this two of swords implies someone that's very cold coldly calculating accepting reality that's accepting reality you know three of cups is like not it's like you know the kind of downside three of maybe you're avoiding reality and just playing no, you're very much just steeped in this, like a tea. And, but you know what you're doing, because you know the world is at stake. And this person now, when they're around you, they feel like solid as can be. Queen of Pentacles, it's sweet energy, I think, because the queen comes, I think, without a little bit of the uh, overly selfish kind of demandingness of can be associated with the King of Pentacles. Uh, it's a little bit too strong a hand, you know? Um, a little bit softer, a little more, uh, a little more Libra-like, you know, uh, someone that might be willing to compromise a little more, say, than the King of Pentacles, a little more feminine energy, divine, receptive, huh? more than projective, and it's nice, and if they feel that way about you, and it's very mature and whole, and it's not uh, 
you know, clingy or, or any way like uh, um, negative, you know. Or, um, wow, the devil, Capricorn energy. It could speak to Capricorn in your chart, Gemini. We all got uh, rising moon, could go in any way. Uh, just wondering, uh, trance, you got Pluto there right now, about 22 degrees, I think. Um, just doing its thing in my fifth house. <laughs> uh, so I think, though, as advice from spirit, um, let me see what there's before I say. could go about three different ways. I don't want to get too complicated, which might make things better in a way that maybe keep more people, but I like to go to it. Fuck it. If you do something, do it right, and they're moving away. They're moving away. This is definitely here, Six of Swords. Uh, mentally, it very well could be the case that this person was divorced, but in their mind, like, they are just still tied up with the marriage uh, or divorce or failure of it. I totally understand that. I'm married 25 years. If I finally realized I'm in love with the marriage, with marriage, and I am, you know, it's like a weird thing. Uh, but I wasn't really in love with my wife, you know. Um, so it could be something like this. Um, but when they're with you, you stabilize them, allow them to feel uh, as good as they can feel, like they're, they're real uh, true selves and feel stable and strong. And this is clearly advice for them to move away mentally from something, which is, I think, this marriage and whatever went on. You know, if it's not a marriage, they were in a serious relationship and, you know, it's marriage energy. And if they're betrayed and whatever, you know, they come away and it sticks, you know. It could be five years later, but really they're hard, still holding hard onto that energy. But then finally the right person comes away. Maybe they're just now ready to let, let it go. And, you know, that's, I think, what they're going to do here. I'm going to clarify your devil card with the sun. ha, ha, ha. Thank you, Spirit. This makes it very clear to me. Because um, here's what I want to say with this. Um, your, your, your Two of Swords energy, um, I think, is going to come to an end uh, pretty soon, uh, if it isn't already. And um, Gemini, Gemini, you've got the North Node transiting there. It's at like four degrees. It's, I'm Sagittarius, so it's my South Node. Um, but, you know, it, you may have some something going on around, it's not addiction or anything, it's like a, a little hang up about sex, or maybe you just don't feel like it's okay to just be really sexual. I think maybe this person is really turning you on, and, uh, you know, um, and basically I just didn't want to, it sounds weird when I say it, but I think this is Tara saying it, because I clarified this devil card. Because the advice could be, well, be careful for, like, addictions on their part. But I don't see them being very solid. They feel solid. So I don't think that's it. So I think it's like, you're. this is like giving permission. Spirit is giving you permission, Gemini, to get it on. And I mean, get it on. And I think it's like, that's fine. You know, you're adults, and uh, you've both been through a lot. And this person's solid. You're inspiring them to move away from this energy. They've been a while, they've been dealing with this energy, they're married to this energy, thinking about this energy, marinating in that energy. Um, and right now, it just looks to you like it's not going very well. You know, Mercury retrograde yesterday, but it's soul family read, check it out. Uh, it's uh, it's going to go direct, a lot of things are going to go direct by November. So a month, one month, things are going to really, we'll see, start turning, turning. And I think this could be corresponding here, like gears start turning somehow. Let's see the outcome. Yeah, two of wands. Okay, so Spirit's telling you uh, for the relationship as a whole, a decision has to be made. So you two are going to get together. Um, I'm some usually have a sense of who's going to move to who. I think you're not together, my point. So uh, whether you're at a distance or across town, um, you're going to now come together and have a home. And so you're going to be discussing this. Um, and I really can't tell here how that's going to work. Uh, usually it's clear. Um, they do have, they do feel like the queen of pentacles and with justice. Would you, then you come in with the world. So 
I'm trying to figure, you know, who's going to move to whose house <laughs> or apartment, right? So I can't really tell. Well, you guys, so this guy's, maybe you guys don't know. Maybe that's what I'm picking up on. Because you know what I'm saying? Like, this, you're going to have, in ones or actions, so you're going to have to do something. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be one of you is going to have to move to the other one, you know? I mean, if you're not together, you're in two places. So somehow you're going to make that one place. That's all that is. Wow. And the outcome is the tower. Do not let this scare you. This is not a bad outcome. It's coming over the advice of the two of wands. And I think you guys are going to have trouble. Somebody's having trouble making this decision. And you're going to get some help from the universe. That's why I think this is coming very quick. You know, I'd say within the next month, this is already happening. This is coming. And I got a feeling you're coming in with the world. Okay, Gemini, you're good. Don't be afraid. Your advice from spirit, the freaking sun, and the devil. So it, this is, uh, to me, it's like that Scorpio energy, Pluto energy. It's a deep a sexual. I'm a Venus and Scorpio. It takes Venus energy, which shouldn't be sexual, and sexualizes it. You know, meaning like love making is love to me. You know, and other things are love too, but that's part because it's very emotional. Um, so, but it's giving you the sun also as advice. So. I mean, you, you're, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> you're, you're golden here. Um, I see a person as being challenged, and not that bad, but somehow they're having trouble, and they're going to get help. Meaning, like, if they didn't want a, a divorce, they're, they're going to get it. Um, if they couldn't bring themselves to quit dealing with the ex and allowing the ex to control them emotionally and upset them, um, that's going to be taken care of because the ex is going to block them. Something like that. That's how this is going down, Gemini. And that's clear in the way for you guys to have a relationship if that's what you want. I think it is what you want. I mean, they make you feel like the world and you make them feel like Queen of Pentacles. Pretty good. Why not? Why not play that out and see where it goes? <laughs> Thank you, guys.